We it's only after he swore allegiance to the Union. By year's end, Missouri's uniformed Confederate troops were defeated and in disarray. Those still committed to the Southern cause often joined guerrilla raiders that terrorized Northern troops and communities near the front lines. Among those who rode with the raiders were Frank James and Cole Younger. The James brothers and the Younger brothers were deeply emotionally and economically involved for a long period in this North-South conflict. During the war, Union soldiers molested Cole's sister, killed his father, and destroyed the family business. Frank James and Cole Younger now fought for the South alongside William Clark Quantrill, commander of one of the war's most vicious guerrilla bands. Under Quantrill, they learned the arts of war by terror. Ambush, robbery, massacre, and sabotage. In 1863, Quantrill's raiders stormed into pro-Union Lawrence, Kansas. In retaliation for a deadly Union raid on the guerrillas' families, the rebels slaughtered every man and boy they found. They looted houses and burned them to the ground, often with families still inside. It was the most shocking massacre of the entire war. While Frank rode with the raiders, brother Jesse, still too young to fight, stayed home on the farm. In the aftermath of the Lawrence massacre, a gang of northern guerrillas caught the 15-year-old boy in the fields. They tried to beat him into revealing the secret of Quantrill's camp but Jesse refused to break. The boy's stepfather also kept the secret, even when the raiders strung him from a tree. When the older man was finally cut down, he had been left brain damaged. The northern raid marked the end to Jesse's childhood. Less than a year later, he joined the most vicious guerrilla leader of them all. Bloody Bill Anderson. Jesse, 16 years old, he's riding with a guy that's tying human scalps to his bridle. That's got to warp you a little bit. Bloody Bill Anderson had learned the craft of terror from Quantrill. Now he introduced Jesse to the fine art of murder and robbing stagecoaches and trains. Jesse, with Bloody Bill Anderson at one time, rounded up, it is said, some 75 Union soldiers, soldiers shot them all. And of course, you were able to take their weapons, any money they had in their possessions. In effect, this was robbery. The James brothers were born into a traditional Southern family. Their father, Robert, farmed 275 acres with the help of slaves. Their farmhouse boasted a large library with books on philosophy, literature, and math. A Baptist preacher by training, Robert James had also founded three churches and a college. Groomed from birth to fill their father's shoes, Frank and Jesse were raised on the Bible and the knowledge that the family farm would one day be theirs. That day came sooner than anyone had ever dreamed. When Jesse was four, his father left for the gold fields of California. Within weeks, Robert James was dead from a mysterious illness, leaving Frank and little Jesse to run the farm with their mom. Ten years later, the Civil War put an end to the James boy's life on the farm. Up until then, we were a land of farmers. We were a land of uh, individuals who never wandered more than 20 miles from home for the most part. But the Civil War changed all that. It disrupted life.